हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल सर्किटरी सिंप्लीफाइड बाई डॉक्टर शोभा निकम इन दिस वीडियो आई टॉक अबाउट थ्री बिट असिंक्रोनस अप काउंटर्स असिंक्रोनस काउंटर्स आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज रिपल काउंटर्स ह्योर असिंक्रोनस मीन्स एक्सटर्नल क्लॉक इज कनेक्टेड टू ओनली वन फ्लिपलॉप एंड आउटपुट ऑफ फर्स्ट फ्लिपलॉप एट सच क्लॉक इनपुट टू सेकेंड फ्लिपलॉप अप काउंटर इट मीन्स इट काउंट्स इन अपवर्ड डिरेक्शन फॉर थ्री बिट काउंटर इट मीन्स इट काउंट्स फ्रॉम जीरो 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 टू मैक्सिमम वन 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 सो इट काउंट्स लाइक जीरो 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 वन जीरो वन जीरो जीरो वन 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 जीरो जीरो वन जीरो वन 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 जीरो दैट इज सिक्स वन 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 एंड अगेन इट विल कम बैक टू जीरो 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 सो टोटल नंबर ऑफ क्लॉक पल्सेस इट विल काउंट एट एट क्लॉक पल्सेस that is 2 raised to 3 number of clock pulses it will count and it is digital circuit so it will always start with zero so when we are designing three bit asynchronous counter it means we need to take three flip flops we can design counters using either jk flip flop or t flip flops or toggle flip flop here i'll show you how to implement three bit asynchronous up counter using jk flip flop for that we need to understand how jk flip flop works jk stands for jack kilby it has two inputs j and k and output is qn and qn bar there are two outputs so inputs can be 00 01 10 or 1 One here for zero zero it continues with previous output. Next state output of JK flip flop remains same as previous output. For zero one output is zero. It means it resets the flip flop. For one zero it is one. It sets the output. It makes output one. And when both inputs are one, then next state output is complement of previous state output. So output toggles. So here, without wasting much time, I'll start designing three bit asynchronous counter. For that, we need to take three JK flip flops. So these three are three JK flip flops. to implement four bit asynchronous counter you just need to connect one more flip flop here so number of bits is equals to number of flip flops here this is preset and this is clear input preset and clear both of these inputs are active low inputs and that is why i have connected them to vcc to disable them all of them are preset and clear then another inputs are j k and one more input in most important input is clock input here also clock and clock you need to remember this is a synchronous counter it means all flip flops will not generate output simultaneously external clock is connected to only one flip flop and the flip flop which receives external clock will generate least significant beat and the last flip flop will generate most significant beat so this is our lsb and this is our msb most significant beat then output of first flip flop acts as clock input to second flip -flop. in up counter q will act as clock input to second flip flop in case of down counters q bar will act as clock input to second flip flop or next flip flop here q1 to 
this and in asynchronous counters we use jk flip flop in its toggle mode and for toggle mode both inputs j and k must be connected to logic 1 so i'll connect j and k to logic 1 so j and k are connected to vcc actually you can connect it here also this is also our vcc line now let's see how it works to understand working i'll draw clock first clock is nothing but a square waveform and here you can see my clock is active uh, is a falling edge triggered clock so clocks can be either level triggered it means output changes at levels positive level or negative level or output changes at ages at rising age that is from 0 to 1 or falling age that is from 1 to 0 so here because of this bubble our, our output will change at falling ages so external clock this clock input is given to first flip flop ff0 and output of ff0 is q0 so and it is in toggle mode so initially assume all outputs are zero initially all outputs are zero so when clock will come to first flip flop output of first flip flop will change will toggle toggle means what if previous output is zero next output will become one so at first falling age output will change from zero to one then at next rising age output will again toggle so previous output was one so it will become zero here again it will toggle from zero to one 1 to 0, 0 to 1, 1 to 0 and again here it will become 1. This is our Q0. Now see what is clock input to my second flip flop FF1. Q0 is clock input and it is falling edge triggered. So now Q0 will act as clock. And at falling ages of Q0, output of my next flip-flop will change. So, this is falling age, 1 to 0 transition. This is falling age and this is falling age. So, up to first falling age, output will remain 0. Then at this falling age, because J1 and K1 are connected to VCC, so output will toggle from 0 to 1 and it will remain 1 up to next negative age at next negative age again it will check inputs and inputs are connected to vcc so output will toggle from 1 to 0 up to next negative age and then again it will become 1 up to next negative age now clock input to my ff2 flip flop 2 is q1 so now this q1 will act as clock input and at falling ages of q1 my next output will change so this is my first falling age so up to first falling age my output will remain zero and at first falling age it will toggle from zero to one and at next falling age again it will become zero from one now see here at first clock edge, this is my first clock pulse, second clock pulse, third clock pulse, fourth clock pulse, fifth, sixth and then seventh and eighth. So here you can see my outputs. Here they are 0, 0, 0. So I'll write 0, 0, 0. Now next see, this is 1, 0, 0. Q0 is what? My LSB. Q0 is LSB. Q1 is my MSB. So I'll write 0, 0, 1. Next is, this is 0, 1, 0. So 0, 1, 0. Next is 1, 1, 0. 
so it is 0 1 1 q2 is msb here it is 0 0 1 so 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 0 1 and then 0 1 1 1 1 0 then 1 1 1 so triple 1 so in this way our asynchronous counters works you need to remember asynchronous counters are the simplest to implement but all flip flops will not generate output simultaneously and that is why they are slower there is a propagation delay when number of flip flops increases propagation delays are also increases and that is why we use them in digital clocks or in counters only I hope you'll like this video. So for more such videos, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.